If you work with Sketch or even people that work with Sketch or you handle Sketch files, you can import Sketch files directly into Figma. You can do it by using the import method or you can drag and drop a Sketch file directly into the files area. Now in this video, you'll import a Sketch file from the iOS developer website that has a UI kit that we can use. So you'll have to download a file off that website. So let's do that first. If you open a new tab in your browser, you can open up developer.apple.com slash design slash resources. And if you scroll down, you should see that there's an iOS app UI kit in here and you can download it for Sketch. Now I've already done this, but if you click download, you can then either install it, I believe it as you install it, which is kind of crazy, but it, it essentially gives you a folder full of content that you can work with. So I've got that folder right here on my desktop called iOS 11 Sketch. And in there, we're going to see a UI elements, and we're going to see something for guides and iPhone 10 and that type of thing. So we're going to import the one here that talks about this one, this guides right here, template and guides. So I'll go back over to the browser and we'll import that. So back on figma.com or in the desktop app, I'll come back up to the upper left here and go back to the files. Now to add this, come up and click on the import button right here. You can do this a couple different ways. And then go into that folder and you're going to see that we've got this one here, UI elements and design templates and guides sketch. I'll open that up. Now it's 1.8 megs, which is not that big to you and I, but what's going to wind up happening here is it's going to wind up trying to import it, which essentially means upload it. So it might take a little while. There we go. That wasn't that bad. I'll click done. And if you open it up by double clicking on the file here, the great thing about importing from Sketch is that it recognizes things like your pages, it keeps some pages, it recognizes things like your layer stack, your content, your imagery, all this content is still editable. You're going to be able to go in and work with it, which is great. It's a great way to start uh, from an existing Sketch file or do something like this where we're trying to pull in assets. So if you look in here, if you scroll down at the pages, you're going to see that we have UI elements here. If I click on that, you should be able to see them and we can pull them into our design if we want to. So let's do that. I'm going to scroll in over here. Now to scroll in in here, what you can do is you can use the plus key to zoom in or the minus key to zoom out. You can also see the zoom level up over here. You can do that. What I like to do is I actually use the command key on Mac. I believe it's control key on Windows and my mouse. So I can kind of zoom in and out like this. If you want to pan around, you can hold down the space bar. You'll get the hand tool like other applications. Let go of the space bar and you can get back to the arrow here. We're going to basically select this right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, a fast way to select inside of Figma, you can actually hold down the command key on Mac or control key on window and click on an object and it selects it within. You're going to notice that it's part of a group of objects here. So on the left over here in the layers, click on status bar and we're just going to copy that. So you can command C on Mac, control C on Windows. And we're going to go back over to our file. So come back up here, upper left, go back to files. Open up my travel app, you're the one you created. And we're just going to paste it in there. Command V or control V to paste it in there. And that's our first object. Now the great thing about this is we don't have to save because it's going to do it for us. As a matter of fact, if you're used to saving command S or control S, it's going to say it auto saves your work. So don't worry about it. All right. Now we don't have any artboards or pages or screens or anything out here yet. We're just put this out here, paste it so we can use it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to add some content, but we've got our file set up. We're kind of ready to go at least. And one last thing I wanted to mention here is that you can open up sketch files. You can do a lot of things like that. You can also take this file that we're working on and send it to someone else as a Figma file. If you come to the upper left here and click on the menu, come to file, you're going to see we can actually save as a fig file, a .fig. That's a way for you to bring it to somebody else if you want to put it in Dropbox and give it to them or however that works. You can save it as a separate file locally, which is great.